He was just bombarding me with questions about food. He was asking about my timeline. And then out of nowhere, he knew I liked Froyo. Everybody loves Froyo. He was wearing a hoodie. Em, look around. Okay, I guess we have our work cut out for us. Hey, it's the camera. Because <laughs> that's what you're going to be doing after the tech fair, snapping pictures of the winner. <laughs> Which would be me. <laughs> it's too late. Hey, Justino, just wait until you feast your eyes on Cam's water-powered racing car mobile. Red! Before you say anything, it's a working title! How am I gonna get her to move? I have some homemade organic bunny-shaped marshmallows. They can turn a frown upside down. She doesn't really strike me as the bunny-shaped marshmallow kind of gal. You talking about me? No, just talking about lockers. They lock stuff inside them. Well, you do. I mean, I'm assuming you do. Not to accuse you of anything, although I am. But what I'm really trying to say here is I'm sure you know how lockers work. Is she always like this? It's kind of her thing. It's annoying. Who's the locker blocker? DeMarco. Devin DeMarco. She's a senior who just transferred from some fancy art school and she is not thrilled about it. She makes us nervous. I got this. Watch me work my social skills. Hey, Dev. Vin. Uh, I'm Michaela, but my friends call me M. So, uh, here's the thing. You're kind of blocking my friend's locker, and, you know, she needs to get her books, so... Go away. I'll go when I'm ready to go. She's ready. <laughs> you have a funny way of making friends, Chica. She's leaving. Hey, what's she doing with that spray paint? Not cool. She's tagging a poster of Dr. Melissa Tuttle. She's been involved in the development of virtual reality, cloud apps, you name it. Isn't she an alumni here? Only the greatest alumni ever. She's launching the prototype of her new drone this Saturday. I've already got ticks. It's gonna be epic. Check it out. It's totally gonna revolutionize drone technology for the next gen. She's like an awesome girl version of Steve Jobs. And DeMarco's painting handcuffs on the new drone. Yeah, looks like she's trying to make some kind of statement. Mm -hmm. Like she wants to handcuff technology. And the launch is Saturday. Which is when Rachel said things are taking a turn for the worse. I think we have our suspect. Nice work, Picasso. Defacing school property, that's against the rules. Detention, Saturday. See you there. Save my seat. Hmm, detention. You want me to get detention on purpose? So why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. <laughs> or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? <laughs> Uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Blackstar's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory method. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Blackstar, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us? About what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? Kinda late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstone's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. 
They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's the one of a kind. It took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. See, this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is... I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands. Who knows what he's capable of? But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Daron wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat? Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's gotta be in the control room already. There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Blackstar won't be able to harm anyone, ever. Cam's right, we have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet one of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Ooh. Who is it? <laughs> Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here until you get back. Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Owl. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I'd pace if I had legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. Would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up. Start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will right after my bit break returns to normal. That was close. There you are, two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rye. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm? I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you. Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian, 
In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Cafe Adam's special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises will work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. 